row. Mm. What was it, 56 tournaments in a row? You know, it, he's that strong. Ramin in Europe is that strong. Can we get the same thing from Glutiny? Wow, and the, the grab <laughs> straight away there from Quick, just <laughs> grabbing eye studying and throwing him back to light. Throwing him back to make sure that hopefully Light was going to be oh. there for him. And that's really unfortunate. 15 seconds in Glute already losing a stock. Uh, I mean, again, you know, doubles is so fast paced. But it's a very unfortunate start here. For the blue team in general, actually, you know, I still being really racking up on that percent as well. So what do you think? I mean, obviously, Gren Greninja's love this stage, right? Mm. They, they love it. Uh, Omega Palutena's, but what do you think about the stage pick uh, for for Red Team? You know, how do you think they can fare on on this stage? Um, I feel as if I feel like you know, Sheik likes FD. You know, she likes being able to kind of combo people across the stage. Um, I also think it's maybe not necessarily it benefits them, but it's more it benefits the blue team less. Like you know, you don't want to go to Triplats against Cloud. That's just a bad time. Yeah. Um, or very nice confirm, not quite getting, well, not quite being far enough on stage to get that spike, but uh, we are seeing, <laughs> oh, okay. that's really unfortunate. I think this kind of speaks to the the goofiness that sort of we're used to from Gluttony. He, mm. he is a bit of a nice. sort of goofy ca character in, in himself. And I think that just this sort of gameplay really speaks to him. Um, you know, the SDing twice, you know, <laughs> it's it's not something that you want to see, especially, you know, in the winner's finals. Mm. You know, it, it's definitely not what, what we're expecting. Um, it may also speak a little bit to maybe his slight inexperience with Cloud. Like, if you're looking at the other three players here, you know, most of these, I believe all of these players have been maining their characters properly you know, for a good long while now. And, you know, if Gluto's only been, like, taking Cloud seriously for a few months, yeah. then, don't get me wrong, his fundamentals will take him far. You can't sleep on Glutiny, no matter who he's playing. But, you know, it's just those little things, those little quirks about each character that you just learn through playing and learn through experience. You know, Gluto does not have that on his side at the moment. Oh, oh that was... Okay. That was a really nice forward air from like going all the way down just to take Gluto off the side. Uh, meaning that Ice Studying is now high percent onto his last stock here. This is looking a bit dicey. Uh, I feel like if if Ice Studying can hold on to this stock, it's definitely possible, but I feel like they really need to get some early kills going. Yeah. And you know again if these two haven't teamed too much. Ah. There goes I studying. Um, if these two haven't... <laughs> oh, <laughs> get them. Okay. They both died. <laughs> and suddenly this becomes doable, right? Yeah. Suddenly this becomes something, it goes from nearing the impossible to yeah. actually, Gluto could do this, you know. Okay, he, as you said, he does have that Ooh. inexperience with Cloud. Mm. But if he has... Uh, if he has the strength, the, the willpower to make it through, okay. That spacing from Quick was actually incredible. That was like pixel perfect spacing. That was really impressive. Um, that wasn't, you know, you've got to remember that, I didn't even see how, but within the first 15 seconds, Gluto was a start down. This is not necessarily, you know, I'm not sat here right now thinking, oh, Red Team's got this. You know, these are, you know, Gluto and I studying are two incredibly solid players, two of the most fundamentally strong players in this building right now. Mm -hmm. And this is, I believe, a best of five being at Winners Finals? Yes, so this will be a best of five, yeah. So they've got, you know, they've got at least another two games to make those tiny little adjustments. Running it back to FD, uh, I agree. I agree with this. I feel like maybe, although this is the problem with Triplats is that, you know, because I was thinking, oh, maybe they go to Triplats because of Cloud, but, you know, ZSS being yeah. the laddering monster that she is, you know, this is, you know, a very nice neutral stage, I feel like, for both teams, you know, neither 
you know, almost the gimmicks of each character aren't necessarily so apparent on the stage. I think um, the, oh, okay, so Quick not being able to make it, uh, sorry, Light not being able to make it back there, mm. uh, rather unfortunate for him. And are we going to see sort of the unfortunate things that happened to Blue Team in the first game? Is yeah. it going <laughs> to reverse and uh, go on to Red Team this game? You know, they always talk about Lady Luck is smiling, but who's she smiling for in this game? Precisely. Um, one thing that I was going to mention in the last game before I was doing Lost of Stock is that um, we were talking in the last set about, you know, a real huge uh, factor within playing doubles with a cloud partner is being able to get those confirms into Limit Cross Slash finishing touch. And these two haven't teamed too much before, which makes me think, you know, do, does Glutiny know? Do Glutiny and I studying know sort of what's roughly going to work? Because I feel like, and again, it's not like, oh, you know, it's not like, oh, I see him plays Sheik, a character that everybody has a pretty solid idea on what a moves do. You know, this is Greninja. There aren't too many, you know, top level Greninjas well, no. in the world, really. No. So, you know, it may be, it'll be interesting to see. We didn't see any game. Oh, that's, oh, oh, no. That nearly looked so good for the blue team there. You know, Isolating and Glutiny kind of half saving each other, but then the LP unfortunately, you know, making oh, Glutos wow. luck run okay. out. Very nice confirm there from uh, from Isolating. Uh, bringing this back, this is relatively close, actually. Yeah, I mean, they're at relatively the same percents. Um, it's it's definitely not undoable for the blue team, you know, after, you know, that unfortunate showing just now. Mm. I, I thought that was that was going to be it, but... I'm not sure Gluto wanted a forward there jumping off the ledge. I feel like he stayed on, and I feel like maybe if he went for that down air, he was going to try and maybe two-frame light as as he came back. Not sure it worked out. Ah, see, little situations like that. You know, quick went, you know, quick through eye study, and Gluto went for a punish and went for a forward smash, which was slight, which took slightly too long to come out, meaning that he could get shield up. It's, you know, a lot of this game at this point, you know, you just learn. You learn a lot just through straight up playing the game. You go through experiences multiple times. Oh, they were going for that thing that you were just talking <laughs> about. You know, they were trying to make sure that uh, they get those confirms. But unfortunately, you know, they're just not prepared at this moment in time. And I, I think, as you said, I think that speaks to um, Pluto's inexperience with Cloud. You know, he's not prepared straight away to mm. be there to get that kill confirmed and because of that they're playing too safe which means they're not getting the stocks off that they need in to be able to win this sort of mm. match yeah is it is it is unfortunate it is quite unfortunate that you know particularly this late on that you know inexperience is everything and it's not as if they're doing especially bad it's just those tiny little clutch situations, like yeah. the slight miss space on the finishing touch. That would have killed, and it would have probably meant a 2v1 beautiful tech there. But that would have meant the 2v1 for the blue team as opposed to the red. And now, you know, you're seeing the consequence of that inexperience. You're seeing a poor frog take an up air and drop down. It's down two games, light and quick, one game away from making it to Grand's winner's side. So, coming out from this, mm. whoever loses is going to play the winner of Owl Babies and True Four versus Lucky and Tom Nima. So, I think no matter what, we're going to have a really solid top three on our hands. This is going to be, you know, this is the place to be. And Gluto's considering Wario, which, there it goes. So, everything we spoke about, you know, inexperience and maybe not being as familiar but forget about it we didn't we didn't say anything <laughs> we have got the world famous warrior coming out from gluto and i mean if you are two games down it's this is the time to switch mm. right you're in you're in winners finals uh, you have the ability to be in winner side grands mm. the cloud isn't cutting it let's go for the for the familiarity let's go for the things that we know and then we will, we will see how things fare Mm, absolutely. And it's also, you know, the fact they are still in winners means that, you know, they can test this out 
and then should they meet them again in grand finals, you know, they're able to, they're able to, this could be data, you know, at worst, this is data, at best, you're taking a game. Yeah. So it's definitely worthwhile. And oh, and you're just seeing it there, you know, those little confirms Gluto being so consistent with the really specific Wario locks and setups. You know, there is a reason this man is number two in Europe with Wario. Yeah. And I think what we're seeing a lot in this case is we're seeing a lot more um, immediately in that this first minute. We're seeing a lot of sort of like two 1v1s going on on either side of the stage. Oh, that was such a good call out on a short hop coming out there from light. Um, Blue team are having a lot more stage control here. They're really focusing on kind of keeping that middle ground, keeping the other two to the ledge, to the side of the stage, means it's going to force them to go for slightly more aggressive and risky options. Yeah. No, I absolutely agree with you. And is he dead? No, Wario is just a little bit too heavy for that sort of thing to kill. Mm. So, okay, we're back at FD again. Now that we've lost that cloud, do you still agree with coming back to FD? Or do you still think they should be going for something? I mean, obviously they don't want something like Town or Smashville because of how strong uh, Sheik and ZSS are on those stages. So do you think Triplats would have been a better option? Um, maybe not necessarily. I feel like, um, I think, it, literally, it may have just depended on when Gluttony thought, maybe I should try out the Wario, because you've got to pick your stage before you pick your characters. Yeah. So, you know, and maybe, I, you know, I'm not entirely sure. It may have worked out a little bit better for them, um, but again, you know, ZSS having those tripods available. What That's you were talking? What I was talking about. What you were That's talking? Exactly <laughs> what I was talking about. That ridiculous knockback on the hitbox, not the actual throw. But see, good, good knowledge. This is why. This is why we're a doubles top. <laughs> we've got, we've got the knowledge ready for these little situations here. Uh, all we need is someone to go bounce on, and we'll all be Gucci. But, yeah. um, you know. Despite the character change, uh, Red Team have still got that lead, all nearly killing his own teammate there with the upward swing of the bike. Um, oh, goes, that was stop. such a good up smash from mm. Light. Ooh, oh, okay. Really Just nice. Forward throw it into Waft? Yeah. Um, this is what I love about uh, like the half charge Waft still has really strong knockback. And obviously, when you see Wario glowing and he's got full Waft, you start playing scared. But, you know. In this case, having that half waft is going to throw people off. And, you know, only Gluto really is going to know, you know, at that exact point where the half waft is available. Yeah. So, you know, he's got a couple of really unexpected kills, and that's actually proven clutch as they are neck and neck right now. Absolutely. This is a very, very close game three. Gluto and uh, I studying really want to be in that winner's side grand finals. Mm. They want to take it home for themselves. Is it going to be possible? Are they going to be able to clutch it out? Because this is such a close game right here. We, n They need to be able to get those, one of those amazing confirms once again so that they can take it and move on to a game four situation. Mm. You're seeing a lot. Um, a lot. I've seen both teams in the past uh, few seconds really miss some team combos here, but I feel like that's just they're just playing so safe right now. What you don't want to do is, unless you know it's going to oh, kill. I think Light's dead. Boom, there we are. And this is, oh. Okay. And we were talking about clutch situations. Mm. You know, sometimes you just got to run up and do it. You just got to <laughs> run up. Did he just run up quickly and half waft? Yes, he absolutely did. <laughs> and he got the kill so that we go on to a game four. Now that FD is gone, mm. where do you think is going to be the best stage for the blue team to go to continue in their ascendancy. Um, I think the thing is that I don't know. They're probably going to ban. Uh, I'm not even sure they're going to ban. Oh, okay. Run back. Okay, so the red team choose to run it back. Uh, maybe both teams just kind of decided that this is a really nice neutral stage for the two of them. Obviously, a big worry about taking them to somewhere like Triplats is that Gluto then has the option to switch to Cloud. Yeah. That's the only thing I can think of. But, you know, I'm pretty sure 
Kuzni is going to be set in his ways, sticking out here with the Wario, proving more success than the Cloud so far. Um, so it'll be really interesting to see. And already you're seeing this slight lead coming out from the blue team here. And again, like, you know, we were talking about that little, there's little dashes of inexperience from Glutiny, and you're just seeing, and you can just tell in this play, he's so much more comfortable. Hmm, absolutely. And, and you would expect that from, you know, someone who's made this character since Brawl, mm. you know, he's made this character for a really long time. Even, you know, even with the changes that did come in between Brawl and, and Smash 4, you know, he's still going to have that familiarity. He's still going to have that comfortableness of just, you know, I know this character. This is yes. the character that I've always loved, that I've always played. Quick, maybe dead I here. Think, oh, I think oh, it was, okay. I think it was the opposite. I think Gluto actually beat. saved him. I'm not sure if the up B would have quite reached there, but Gluto's down there kind of giving Quick a second oh. lease on life. Light actually dying. Mm, that's unfortunate, you know. Oh, wow. Okay, he managed to shadow sneak out of the up B. Yeah, I believe, I believe for the most part, I believe Greninja can just do that. I feel like up B is actually a really difficult kill move here to use to kill on Greninja again because of that shadow sneak. But Gluto living all the way here to 160, you know. Wario he's being a heavy, heavy boy. Yeah, <laughs> he, he, he <laughs> tried to go for it. He tried to use uh, eye studying as his weapon. And you could see the slight hesitation there from right. You could see him spacing just that side, knowing what happened last time. Yeah. Um, this is, you know, one thing that I'm liking is that, you know, we saw Gluto live to 160, and we're seeing Greninja live to a similar percent here. The blue team, I've been really, really good at just not dying. And particularly in a doubles Ooh. environment, you know, being able to go from, you know, oh, he was at 120 when the opponent was at zero. But then, you know, suddenly, you know, it grows a little bit more and a little bit more and a little bit more. And now, you know, you know, keeping the stocks. Although, you know, I have to give the red team credit here because I'm saying all this about the blue team, but they are still neck and neck with them. Absolutely. Uh, I think uh, what, we need, what we really need to see is that dominance in the first and second game where they weren't afraid to go for the kills. They weren't afraid to make sure that uh, we, you know, they wanted those kills really, really badly. Mm. And if they can come back to that, if they can get back into that mindset, I think that they can, they can take this as a 3-1. However, if Blue Team continue to be able to uh, outplay the, the safe play from Red Team, we could go to a game five. Mm. Absolutely. Oh, okay, not quite. The up has not quite been enough to take Gluto off the top at the moment. Uh, oh, really, really nice up smash, catching that drift in. And, you know, they've really got to take, Quick's got to keep hold of this stock to really be able to secure this game four here. Uh, if he loses the stock early on, it, it could prove, you know, it could be a good opportunity. For the oh, oh, yes, indeed. Dear Greninja. Greninja side B and up B, it's ridiculously easy to miss input. Even, you know, even a player such as I studying, you know, in a tense situation. And this is, uh, you know. Oh, wow, Ooh. he read the jump in there. Oh, ah. and the waft is gone, so no early stop. Yeah. Okay, nice. never mind. Nice. Killing him with the slam down of the bite. And we've seen Gluto come back from trickier situations than this before. Uh, he is, you know, you know, and again, you know, he's got rage in about a minute or so. He's going to have that half waft on deck. If he can take quick stock, no, then that's it. That's it. Okay. Uh, I think that the issue there was that it was a little bit of too little, too late. Yes.